food is something that's eaten, um, common, eaten commonly in the Caribbean. So it's very, very starchy. Around forever to have it right. So similar to soursop, it has like this piece. Of, it smells almost a little bit like soursop, like if you mix bread with soursop. Hey, I finally found some ripe bread fruit. The question is, can you eat it raw? Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Greetings, this is Body Culinary and I'm bringing you into the food prep area with me for um, a real treat. So today I have something I've been looking to experience for a very, very long time. So I don't know um, if any of you out there, any of my Caribbean folks know what this is. It's got some weight on it. So this is breadfruit. And um, usually, I know my um, dad is from Barbados, he's Asian, and my um, grandma. And um, breadfruit is something that's eaten, um, common, eaten commonly in the Caribbean. So it's very, very starchy. I remember when I first went to Barbados um, as a young girl, um, when my dad took me to town, they had roast corn and they had um, breadfruit. So I always have this thing about um, finding food in its original state and to see if it can be eaten whole and living and raw. So it's usually starchy. Most people um, don't eat it when it's ripe, but I just happened to find this one particular farmer at the farmer's market yesterday that had two pieces that were already ripe. So I could not wait to come and bring it home um, and to sample it. So again, this is the breadfruit. It's not spiky. Um, it kind of, well, you're gonna see in a minute. It kind of reminds me of another fruit, but it has some weight on it, right? And this is nice. It has a little bit, if you see, I left a little, indentation in there. So this is one that I just cut and it turns brown really, really, really quick. Very, very quickly. So that's one thing to note with this fruit. I've never had it right and I've been waiting, looking for, around forever to have it right. So similar to soursop, it has like this piece in the center, right? It has this, well, the soursop um, core is a little um, more starchy. This is a little more firm. So it's oxidizing very, very quickly. And so I tasted it and it is edible. I'm happy to report that you can eat breadfruit um, raw and it would have to be ripe. If this was not ripe, you'd just be eating a mouthful of starch. So I just want you to see what the texture of it is like. So now it actually is very custardy. It's like a, like a banana or bread custard, like a bread pudding almost. And it reminds me somewhat of durian. Durian is more fatty. This is like a starchy fruit, but it's not, but it's ripe. Mm, and it smells more tropical. Um, it smells almost a little bit like soursop. Like if you mix bread with soursop, if there's such a thing. So it's actually pretty good. I'm shocked. So I finally get to taste breadfruit. Mm, ripe and raw. So I'm happy to report. You can eat the breadfruit whole and living. So this part is going brown very, very quick. So I'm gonna cut it open. But I said I have to come on camera because um, I've never I've never found it um, raw or ripe, right? Because it is raw. Again, most people will roast it. So there's nothing wrong with this. Is, this is like actually perfectly ripe, but Mm. And it's a fruit, right? There are some fruits that are not edible. This happens to be edible. Now, actually, it was said that um, breadfruit was used um, to feed a lot of the, the slaves, you know, so. Because it has a lot of nutrients in it. And I guess it's very, very filling. So you can research that on your own. Mm. It's actually pretty good. I think I like this more than I like durian. I know amongst the, the living foods or raw food um, community, people had durian fest and all this big hoopla over durian. Durian was okay. It can get a little funky. The, scent, the, the smell of it didn't throw me off as much as people say that it can. Maybe that's if, um, if it's older, it can be funkier. I didn't find it that funky. But this, I think I actually prefer the taste better. Durian is more fatty. This is like... A little fatty, but more like a creamy custard. This is, if you mix, it's sour sop with the bread pudding, that's what this would taste like. So, mm. that's the skim. 
I'm just so surprised. I'm shocked that I just happened to find on one of my little market um, runs. I just happened to find it right, and that is the first. So this said to be loaded with calories. It doesn't feel heavy because it's not fatty. It's very rich. Again, it's like a soursop bread pudding almost. So I just wanted to come on and share that with you. Bread fruit. So if you can find it, usually it's much um, bigger and more round. This one is a little more um, oblong, a little more oval. And they usually just like pure starch and people will, um, will roast them. Also, I know in um, Barbados, they have um, a dish called cuckoo. It'll either be a cornmeal cuckoo or a breadfruit cuckoo. So basically cook it down like the cornmeal or the breadfruit like a starch and then serve it with tomatoes and fried fish. And I think it was really, really delicious. Um, so I don't eat that anymore. You know, it was super delicious. I can still appreciate traditional um, methods of uh, preparing foods. But now it's got me thinking. Again, you can never eat this raw because it's just too much starch. But it's, it's now I'm thinking of the cuckoo. Can I even make the sauces or something else from um, the recipe that I have in my head? Which is what I will do a lot. Take a lot of the of the um, the Afro dishes, Southern dishes, and also the Caribbean dishes from from both sides of my tradition, and just adapt them so that they don't have the white flour, and I'm not frying anything or using any refined sugars. So I have a good spot in my brain for textures and um, flavors and then also making it um, presentable. So that's breadfruit. Um, let me know if you've tried um, breadfruit um, before or if you've gone to the Caribbean. If you've ever tasted it ripe, ripe and raw, right? Or whole and living, right? And we're really using that label as a distinction for it. um, it's cruelty free. First to your body and then um, your own brain and body and then to other creatures that we share the planet with. So still rocking out um, with these semi-free form Lots again, um, I think I mentioned earlier, I got all of the, um, the oil build about, which came, you know, it seemed like it came out of nowhere, but then again, it didn't. I was going crazy on experiment with oil. Um, I think I'm leaving the oil alone, see again, for good, because it just feels really good to have like feather um, light hair, especially as I start to get this a little bit length. So let me hear from you in the comments. Please subscribe um, to the channel. Share the video with someone that you know from the Caribbean. and. Um, find out if they've ever had I am so curious to know if anybody else even in Africa or the continent any place tropical if you've had whole ripe breadfruit not roasted right but I'd like to hear from that too what has been your experience with breadfruit subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up if you um, enjoyed it and got some value and I will see you in the next video also follow body culinary on um, Instagram and also on Facebook see you soon